Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing uh, XNL Real Planes, and what this does, it adds those cool sound effects to your planes, makes it way more realistic. It adds autopilot, glide slope, so many different things, uh, collision warnings, all those good things which you would kind of have in a real life plane into 5M. So if you are doing a type of aircraft uh, roleplay, or if you have pilots on your 5M roleplay server, this is something you should use on that server. Let's take a look at some of the sounds that are included. I will put them on the screen now. V1. Don't sink. Decision height. Bank angle. Bank angle. Glide slope. TCAS test. Alright, so now that you've seen some of the sounds and what this resource can do, let's go ahead and download and install it. So the full list of everything um, that really, really wants to know how it works is on the GitHub, but there is a quick description here. It has glide slopes, autopilot, airport zones, airport map blips, altitude uh, for cruising altitude per plane, traffic avoidance systems, ground proximity warning systems, and it includes the... Um, audio files as well it also uh, goes ahead and you can gives you permission to modify it um, in private use and asks you to reach out before uh, releasing it publicly I believe it does have a um, little bit of a uh, I API type call interact events so if you want to make your own script with it you can do that as well to download it you just go ahead and click the download page and you can see the license notes so um, obviously you cannot claim that it's yours but you can implement it into your own server you can adapt and change it for your own needs you just can't re-upload without permission so really really great that it's fully open source as well you can modify it to any use you need um, the full list of what you can do here is in uh, located on the github so if you want to go through all of this feel free but you can clearly see there's a lot of stuff that um, is included in this script which is terrific I love when authors include so much stuff but in order to download and install this all you have to do is click the green button go ahead and click the download and it will go ahead and download and you're just gonna open this up with WinZips, WinRAR, 7-zip whatever you use to go ahead and open up your files normally I just use WinRAR um, and then you're going to go to your server data resources folder. It may not be called this for you, but it's wherever all your resources folders are. You're always going to have these ones with the little brackets. So wherever these are, this is where you are going to be. And then you're just going to go ahead and drag in the full folder. You don't even have to do anything. Just drag it in. What I do just to make it a little bit easier is I right click and rename the folder and get rid of the dash master. And then I just copy the name of the folder control C just so I have that. And then I go into my server.cfg file, which is this file where you add all your resources to the starting. If you're on zap host, this is located on their control panel. If you are on um, any other host, you probably know where this is. You're just going to type in sure or start, depending on what you have here, the name of the folder. In this case, it's XNL Real Planes. And then you can go in and close and start up your 5M server. The way you know if it started correctly is go ahead and look inside of your console and just see where it says start resource XNL Real Planes. You know it has started successfully. Let's hop in game and take a look and showcase some of these really, really cool features. All right, so we have gotten into our aircraft here and we're just gonna go ahead and taxi it to uh, the runway. And you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, it says grounded taxiing. That's what the way we know this is working correctly because if it wasn't there, we would know, hey, it's not actually working correctly. So if we go ahead and take off here, we're just gonna speed up to a speed that lets us take off. Obviously, you can make this as realistic as you want. And then we're just gonna V1. go pull up where it says V1. And you can see now it says taking off climbing to cruise altitude so then we're just going to keep climbing to our cruise altitude which will probably be about 300 meters if i remember don't correctly sink. so there's the don't sink call out because i started going down rather than up i'm using the keyboard right now not my controller so i'm not the best pilot um so we're just going to keep climbing um and i'll give an example of the steep turn warning at some point um probably once we're at the altitude we're supposed to be at and i can give an example of that but we're just going to continue taking off we're just probably going to go to Sandy Shores Airfield, or we'll just loop around the main airport. Either one works perfectly fine. So you can see we are still climbing, and we're still climbing to cruising altitude. I obviously don't know what cruising altitude is. Decision um, height. There we go. So autopilot is now available at F10. So we're at our cruising altitude. So if we press F10, it'll say no autopilot waypoint detected. So if we just want to make a waypoint over here, press F10. Autopilot will engage, and you can see it is now flying itself at the same altitude. It will hold the same altitude and just fly itself which is a great feature to have. If you press F10 again, you can disable it, and there goes the sound once again. So that is a great feature. Um, and you see if we're above cruise altitude, it will say above cruise altitude, all of bank that good angle. stuff. Bank There's angle. the bank angle uh, call out. Now we're just gonna head back over to the um, 
airfield over here and go ahead and land. So you can do the automatic um, type of uh, landing call out and if you put down your wheels it will go into landing mode so it knows you are going down to land and it won't send out those call outs if you're below the cruising altitude. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and enable autopilot once we arrive at the glide slope. So if you're coming in over the glide slope you'll be able to turn on autopilot and it will land itself when you get the prompt on your screen. You must get the prompt on your screen before receiving that uh, call out because if you don't obviously it will just go to wherever your waypoint is not the call out so we're just going to twist around here uh, slow ourselves down quite a lot and go ahead and turn on to the landing glide slope and if you don't know what the glide slope is it is just the, uh, kind of the rate you are coming down to land over the runways so it's just a good thing to know for when you're doing realistic role plays and stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and line up here and you can see we're just gonna go ahead and press F10 to engage glide the glide slope. slope and it's gonna go ahead and enable. And what this will do is it will go ahead and land the plane uh, kind of for you, which is great. Um, so it's just gonna keep going. You can see it's just gonna go ahead and slowly bring us down to the correct altitude to land right where we need to land. It looks a little high, but um, Realistically, it uh, does land kind of where it's supposed to be. It's a little buggy because it is 5M and obviously you can't get it perfect. It's not a flight simulator, but you can see it is doing a quite good job at going ahead and landing the plane. There we go. So we are down. Perfect job. Um, and obviously you can stop the plane now on your own because it disengaged automatic glide slope. So very, very nice resource to have on your server, especially for people who really love planes and stuff. I highly recommend downloading and installing it as a server owner just because it adds just that next level of realism to your server. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Um, I will be back in two days with another one. Um, and please leave suggestions for videos down in the comments. I am trying to figure out ESX still because it clearly isn't working for me when I try to install it. So more info soon on that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you tomorrow.